We don't know exactly what he has planned for us, says John, but we do know this. We shall be like him. I remember speaking in Jersey City one night, and there was a young lady sitting up in the front row, and she'd had a really rough life. And when I spoke about this, I could hardly look at her. Her face was shining like the noonday sun. She was so excited. I said, it doesn't matter how much damage sin has done to you. It doesn't matter how slow you are to learn or how cantankerous your personality. God is going to finish the job and you're going to be like God's son. That's the promise. Everyone that has this hope in him, what hope? Well, the hope of being like Christ. The hope that as a child, I'm going to grow up and mature. And someday on the streets of glory, you may mistake me for the Lord Jesus, just for a second. And if that's true, how does that affect me today and tomorrow and the next day? I want to get with the program. I want to study the textbook. I want the Holy Spirit, the teacher, to show me every day. I can't wait till I get there. I want to start the project now. I want to become like Jesus now. And so, as he is pure, as I look at him and see the purity of his motives, the purity of his love, the purity of his grace. I look at it, it's unpolluted, undiluted. The way he was so kind to his enemies, the way he prayed for those who misused him, the way he was generous with everything. I say, I want to be like that. I don't want to wait till the big moment. I want to start now. I want every moment to be a big moment where I'm being changed to be like him. So Lord, that's what I want. I want you to get rid of the dross now. I want you to purify me now so that I can be like your son. Because if you think that's the big idea, I agree with you. I mean, to make me an angel would have been a miracle, but to make me like your son? I want to get in on that. I want to start now and be transformed into his image.